हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लर्नर जोन आई एम बैक विद अ न्यू वीडियो अबाउट अटोमिक ऑबिटल्स वट आर अटोमिक ऑबिटल्स वाई देर इज अ नीड टू स्टडी देम देर आर फोर काइंड ऑफ ऑबिटल्स एस पी डी एन एफ इन अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट न्यूक्लियस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन हाउ इलेक्ट्रॉन रिवॉल्व अराउंड पॉजिटिवली चार्ज न्यूक्लियस there is a attraction between positive charged nucleus and negatively charged electron that's why it is revolving around nucleus so these electrons are present in atomic orbitals there are four kinds of atomic orbitals learning about their shapes s is circular in shape s is circular in shape with positive charge throughout the sphere p orbital has two lobes with different electron density positive in one lobe and negative in other lobe d orbital have four lobes and similarly f has eight lobes talking about the orbitals which are circular in shape and are of the lowest energy are s orbitals as we can see we have drawn 1s 2s and 3s orbitals as the principal quantum number increases the size of the orbitals also increases let us understand how electrons are filled in these orbitals hydrogen contains electron in configuration 1s1 and it contains one electron that one electron is filled in 1s orbital so helium electronic configuration 1s2 the second electron is now filled in s orbital on whole s orbital can accommodate total of two electrons that means now our shell is completely filled when the third electron will be added it will automatically move on to the higher energy orbital that is 2s as we have seen in the case of lithium writing electronic configuration of lithium 1s2 2s1 in this case one is orbital is completely filled so the third electron has moved on to the higher energy shell that is 2s orbital and similarly so on for the further elements talking about the overlap of orbitals we have studied few examples for hydrogen helium and lithium In case of hydrogen and helium, both the electrons are present in 1s orbital that are atomic. But in case of lithium, when the electron moves in the 2s orbital, that means there is a overlapping between 1s and 2s. These overlapping leads to hybrid orbitals. For better understanding, let us take a look on the 3D picture. what are p orbitals p orbitals are dumbbell shaped orbitals or in short they have two lobes the difference between these three orbitals is just that they are lying on three different axes x y and z p orbital always lie perpendicular to the axis between the two lobes there lies the node node is the place node is the point where no electron can be located there is two different electron density region in p orbitals one is positive low other is negative low. we have talked about node so what is node the point where an electron cannot be located more the nodes higher will be the energy so studying about the overlap of 1s 2s and 2p let us check an example of neon writing the electronic configuration of neon 1s2 2s2 2p6 that is 2 8 18 configuration of inert gases so 
let us see how the orbitals are overlapping in this two electrons are present in 1s orbital drawing 1s orbital in this first electron is filled then the second for helium then moving to lithium and beryllium which contains 2s orbital 2s orbital overlaps 1s orbital containing two more electrons now moving to 2p orbital as we move from beryllium to boron we have configuration of 2p1 that means one electron is added to the p orbital when the configuration changes from 2p1 to 2p2 then the second electron is added to another p orbital 2p y then for configuration 2p3 the third electron is added to the third orbital 2p z when the fourth electron will be added in p orbital it will start pairing up it will not move to the higher energy orbital rather first singly filled p orbitals then it will start pairing up now the fourth electron will move to these orbitals pairing them up fourth in 2px fifth in 2py and sixth in 2pz so on whole this is the overlapping of 1s 2s and 2p this first electron is filled in 1s then 2s then 2p for better understanding let us take a look on the 3d picture